stall that you see right here can unlock FRP, unlock any type of lock. And the sweetest thing about this stall that you have seen right here is that it can do that unlock without resetting the phone's data. Which means that you will still have your customer's information inside the phone and that is really great. I tell you what, this is one of the best FROP and unlock tool that I have used so far. You understand? So I'm just going to show you how you can operate this tool. Because after that I will show you how you can get this tool functioning in your PC so that you can start doing your unlock. So it doesn't matter the type of PC you have. As long as you have a PC, then make sure that you follow all the steps that I'm going to show you here on how to use this tool. Then I'm going to show you as well how you can then install it on your PC in the right way to use the tool without having any errors. Okay, so how does this tool work? So as soon as you open the tool, you will have this screen right here. So if you look right here, you will see something like direct FRP. So I'm going to explain all the modes and how you can connect your phone to read in this particular mode to do this stuff. You understand? So when you open the tool, you click on right here. So and first, I want you to understand that this tool is only for MTK devices, MediaTek devices. So it it even unlocks the, the, the latest versions of Android MediaTek devices. So it unlocks the latest versions of Android. So once you click on this option right here, you will see all the operations. Right here, you can see that you can reset FRP, do factory reset plus FRP reset. You can do bootloader unlock, you can do direct relocking the bootloader factory reset you understand okay so for example if you have a phone let me say uh, for example an infinix phone with frp stuck in the frp mode that you need to bypass the frp what you're just going to do you are just going to come right here to direct frp then you are going to click on it so before you click on it you need to check the mode in which the phone needs to be in so you, this, the, the guys who made this tool make this very easy. So this tool is very easy because you can see this particular operation right here. All of them are using the same mode which is boot mode. So if you are trying to bypass FRP only, then you will just click on FRP right there. So once you have clicked on there, you are just going to click on start. So when you click on start right here, make sure that the phone is off. You just have to press and hold the volume up button of the phone when the phone is off then make sure that you connect your usb cable so once you connect your usb cable the phone will pick the 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 tool will pick the phone then do all the operations for you it's just a one click tool so in case you press the volume up connect the tool doesn't pick the phone make sure that you try the volume down then connect the usb it will pick if it doesn't pick, then make sure that you have MediaTek uh, drivers running on your PC. If you receive a phone with any type of passcode, then you want to bypass that passcode with FRP at once. You have this factory reset and FRP option. So this option right here will delete everything from the phone. Yeah, it's a factory reset. So we are still getting into the point where you can do the unlock without resetting the phone. So make sure that you stay tuned. So if you want to clear everything in the phone, then reset FRP with one click. Make sure that you use this mode then click start then go through the same process to connect the phone so same as bootloader if you want to unlock the bootloader do same and blah 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 okay so we have the one important option right here which is to bypass the authenticator right here so in case you are trying to uh, a flash then it's been blocked by the authenticator right here then you can just bypass that right here which is very important okay so let's come to the unlock operations option right here okay so this one carries a lot of features right here so you can see right here we have the storage type so before you use this option right here you need to make sure that that you select the storage type of your device so if your device uses an emmc storage type non-ufs make sure that you select it right here they made things easier by putting the auto option right here so when you Click on the auto right here, then connect your device. The tool will automatically select the storage of your device, storage type of your device. Okay, so you can see all the options right here. You can see that we have the brand right here. And you have to make sure that you select the brand of your phone. You can see we have Vivo, we have Samsung, we have all the models right here. So make sure that you select the brand right here. If it's Realme, select it, then come 
right here to the model then select the model of your device you understand so as soon as you have uh, selected the model of your device you can either connect the phone to boot mode like i showed you how you can connect it in the other operation section you can either connect the phone to boot mode before you start the the operation any operation right here or start the operation before you connect the phone so if you connect the phone without starting any operation right here you will have the phone port the phone will show right here the port will show right here which means that if you click any option right here the the operation will just start you understand so you can see that you can reset protect the uh, protection frp yeah you can see the we have the erase method reset frp and erase everything you can see all this option and the sweetest options right here are these right here remove password then keep data you understand so you can unlock without losing the, the data in the phone you understand so if you click on this option then try to to unlock without losing data and it doesn't work then make sure you try this new method so this down uh, method right here is an old method and they make sure that they keep improving everything so this is the latest latest unlock method right here without losing data so if you use this one everything will be okay you understand so let's go to the next option right here okay cool so this is another important option right here you can reset frp bypass in mtp mode that's scarce i understand so you can reset frp in mtp mode right here reset frp in adb which is not that common but in case you come across a phone with adb mode enabled you can use that option so you can reset frp in fast boot mode which is really cool so you can see right here you can see all the options right here they are very easy to use so you can see all the modes these ones are not uh, these other options right here you don't have to have your phone in boot mode so you can see all the modes that the phone needs to be in to operate any of these operations right here you understand so if i come to save it right here you will see you can read everything right here you can read the phone info in adb read the phone info in fastboot and mtp so one important important option right here as well is repair you can either repair uh, IMEI or you can generate IMEI you understand then we have this other last option like right here which you can apply the scattered file which is the firmware of any MTK device okay so how can you get this tool I'm going to show you how you can get the tool right here and show you how you can install the tool on your PC you understand so I've put the, this link right here in this video description so once you click on the link it's a direct download link then you will come to this page right here so when you are in this page right here just click on download it will start downloading you understand so when it's done downloading make sure that you go to the folder in which in which the downloaded file is saved in so i you can see right here i have my downloaded file right here what you're going to do you're just going to double click and install it so as you can see it's in a raw format and if you you don't see it like this make sure that you install winrar on your pc i think winrar is around a three megabyte to download just search winrar on google then download it so once you are here make sure that you just double click on the exe right there give it some time okay cool so you can see that it's extracting right here and once it's done extracting then you will have this the exe you will have the launch icon on your home screen the reason why i cancel it is because i have it already so you can follow the steps to get this tool once you get the icon on your screen make sure that you just double click open the file and then you will be right here to this tool okay so i'm going to upload more videos about unlocking tools and mobile repairing and if you want to learn mobile repairing in just a short time make sure that you message me using this number on the screen right here and you will be able to learn mobile repairing in less than two months i mean basic to the professional level of mobile repairing